Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian, this is Daniel Berlin, and we're gonna talk about Battlefield 5. So this is one of the big announcements here at EA Play, and boy is it big, there's so much to talk about with this game. So what are you bringing into Battlefield 5 that's different and tweaked and new? Coming from Battlefield 1, of course there's a lot of learnings, and we have the whole CTE program running and everything, and there's continuous updates coming in from Battlefield 1 that we just carry over straight into the game. But in terms of like what we're doing and what we're tweaking is like we're adding a whole flurry of new features to the game. I think one of the most interesting ones for me personally is the fortification feature, which is actually makes it possible for you to take out a toolbox. So what you can do with the toolbox is you can actually reinforce structures. You can board up windows on buildings, for example. You can build sandbags. You can build trenches to help you actually set up defensive barriers around flags that you capture. But it's also a way for us to give actions to players that aren't necessarily the best at shooting, for example. So you can actually contribute towards your team and to contribute by actually just building for your team. It looks like there's a lot more emphasis on getting the whole team cohesively working together. Yes. The medics still heal people, but everybody can heal people. The medics are just faster at it. The engineers yes, can still build. Yes, the reviving build. feature is what yes, you're talking about. Yeah, so we have the buddy revive, which means that like everyone within a squad can revive each other, but that's only consistent within the squad. So yeah. you can't actually reach outside of your squad and revive someone else, but that's where the medic is significantly more powerful because the medic can revive everybody, and the medic executes the revive significantly faster. You've also got this game mode that I'm really curious about, which is the Grand Operations mode. Yes. So Grand Operations is the successor of the, the very popular operations mode that we actually introduced in Battlefield 1. So what we're doing with Grand Operations is that we're changing up the format a little bit you will always go through all the maps. So it has that same map-to-map -map meta layer that you had in Battlefield 1. But we want to make sure that once you join an operation, you actually get to partake in the entire operation. You get to play through the whole thing. So we're introducing a concept of in-game days. One day is approximately between 10 to 20 minutes. It's a match, basically. Right. For example, the one we're playing here today at EA Play, Day one is the airborne yeah. mode. Yeah, paratrooping into Rotterdam. Yeah, exactly. And you're flying in the day before the major invasion, and you're there to sabotage the long-range artillery. Right. Because if you manage to do that, once your main army arrives in day two, they will be significantly stronger. You will have more response, more tickets for the soldiers. They will have more vehicles and so on and so forth. And if you do poorly, you will have less soldiers that day. So there's a direct gameplay impact between every day. Yeah, it's just like planning a military operation. All these dominoes line up, and the better exactly. you do, the better, the stronger you are along the way. They tie in also, interestingly, with this idea of the tides of war that you guys are introducing. What are the yes. tides of war? So the tides of war is our way to take all the players on a journey through World War II. And like a really, really important thing about this is that we're removing premium at this point. So everyone who gets the game will be able to go on the Tides of War. And all the content we're going to be dropping in the Tides of War in terms of like when we go through new theaters, introduce new types of gameplay, new vehicles, new weaponry, everyone gets to experience the different theaters of war as we go on this journey. 